Keegan, and Mayor Lamumba told us they did in fact reach out to minority contractors, but the mayor said those firms said unless they could partner with larger companies, they simply couldn't do the work. The crews that we have dealt with. Mayor Shokwe Antar Lamumba said the city's public works department tried to hire local minority-owned contractors for work on Jackson's water crisis. And what we found in those discussions is those firms didn't have the, comp the capacity individually to do the work. In a Tuesday news conference, the mayor said Public Works was forced to bring in firms from outside the city because fixing the busted pipes had become an emergency. Because the emergency allows for those hurdles to be avoided because the urgency of the moment takes precedent over those standards. The mayor spoke out on the issue four days after Councilman Aaron Banks said in a Friday City Hall public hearing that minority firms had been shut out. The water crisis has already cost Jackson taxpayers more than $700,000. And there are contractors right here that are willing to do the work. And I believe, I just believe that if taxpayers pay that money, that that money should come right back into our city with people who pay taxes in our city. As we deal with the emergency, our first priority has to be taking care of the citizens. But going forward, we want to establish new policy. The mayor's new aggressive policy lays out who gets city contracts. Our city's stated goal, this administration's stated goal, is to ultimately see 60% of the boots on ground being Jacksonians and 50% of the subcontracting being minority subcontractors. Now, the mayor says that new goal far exceeds those established by previous city leaders, and he says it's also one of the most aggressive expectations in the entire country. Live in the studio, Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.